Hello guys, welcome to our channel Inspiring Minds. In today's video, we are going to discuss how to study anatomy more effectively. Anatomy is one of the most difficult subjects you learn in your medical school. Memorizing all the anatomical structures and their function is tough enough as it is. But you have a number of other subjects to study for as well. To talk about the time management and to help you be successful in your classes, I have come up with some study techniques for studying anatomy more effectively. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Tip number one, schedule it in. This is the key for making your life easier right before the exams. We all know how stressful it is trying to cram in all the material you have learned the entire semester just one week before exams. It's very tiring, stressful and frankly ineffective. Most of the time, cramming all the material results in storing the information in your short term memory. So you may do well on the exam day, but you will end up forgetting most of it shortly afterwards. The key here is making the time for studying, whether that be actually scheduling it in your weekly routine or simply making sure to find the time for it here and there. If you don't know how to do it and you don't have the study schedule, you can find the link in the description below. The main thing is you have to make studying a habit and continuously review the material. This means no procrastination. Tip number two, start early. This goes along with scheduling in study time. Naturally, if you start early and schedule in time for studying, then you are setting yourself up for success. We all have been there one week before exams and panicking because there is so much to learn and so much to review and so little time. That's when you wish you started earlier. This means you need to find the motivation to set time to study and review your notes without procrastinating until the last minute. Tip number three, repetition, repetition, repetition. Notice what we did there. This one is fairly obvious. The more you go over something, the more likely you will remember it. The only way to memorize all the anatomical structures and their functions is to repeat, repeat and you guessed it right, repeat. Many students find rewriting notes to be helpful while repetition, so you can try it for yourselves too. Tip number 4, switch it up. While it's great to find your routine and what works for you, it's good to switch things up and use different study techniques to reinforce the material and to avoid getting stuck in a rut. If you read the textbook, write notes and use flashcards along with the visual diagrams, you will more likely to remember and understand the material than if you just use the flashcards. I personally suggest you to draw out the anatomical structures as I previously mentioned in the tip 3, the repetition in different forms of study techniques makes studying more effective. Tip number 5, get creative. If you have the artistic skills, Use your artistic skills to help you study. To fully understand diagrams, try redrawing them and note them with facts and features. When you draw bones, muscles or tissue, use different colors for each of them to make them easier to visualize. Then hang the diagrams and charts around the room on the walls to visualize the bigger picture. Taking notes is crucial in helping you remember the material. Whether that be taking notes in class or while reading the text, combining seeing the material and writing it down increases your ability to retain the information for a longer time. Make sure to write the notes in your own words in order to understand the content when reviewing it. If the language used in the notes is too hard to understand, it will diminish the effectiveness of your notes. So make sure you use a simple language while making your notes. Tip number 7 understand your learning style figure out what learning style do you have do visual works for you are you a verbal learner most people are combination of learning styles so figuring out what works for you will help you cater your study habits accordingly and make them more effective stick to what works best for you to maximize your study efforts if flashcards don't work then don't use them if rewriting notes help you remember then do that Tip number 8. Use memorization technique. Trying to memorize all the anatomical structures can be a daunting task. Utilize different study memorization strategies such as flashcards, rewriting your notes, using mnemonics or even singing it if that helps you out. Tip number 9. Work in groups. For some people, working in group can be of benefit. Sometimes 
having someone else to bounce ideas off or someone to quiz you can help you retain the information and identify your area of weaknesses having a study group can be a motivating thing for you to study and keep you accountable tip number 10 stay motivated this is very important guys if you don't motivate yourself then you will surely going to procrastinate find ways to motivate yourself to study as mentioned in tip 9 try working with people so that you can motivate each other tip number 11 quiz yourself test your knowledge and simulate what the exam question will be like to make sure you are prepared for the real deal you can create the quiz by yourselves or by taking help of your friends or you can also use the quiz questions provided by your teacher or you can use the online quiz material tip number 12 focus on your weak points i have said this time and time again that you have to first focus on the weak points rather than constantly reading all the information This will not only save your time but will also make your study efforts more effective. Last but not the least, tip number 13, taking advantage of the resources available to you. There are a lot of resources available to you that will actually going to make your studying more easier. As mentioned in the tip number 4, make sure to switch up not only the study schedule but also the resources you are using to maximize your studying effectiveness and really reinforce the concepts. Some of the resources you can take advantage of include your textbook, the lecture notes given to you by your professors and your own handwritten notes. There are also some online available resources that you can make use of. As we have discussed the key points, we can now move on to discuss how to start studying a particular topic for your anatomy class. If you don't know the structure of medical education in Ukraine, please watch my previous video. Link is in the description below. For illustration, let's assume you have to study anatomy of humerus bone. How do you do that? Step 1: Get an overview of the topic. Diving directly into your anatomy textbook is not the best option. I found this amazing app on Play Store, Teach Me Anatomy. It has to the point notes which will give you a superficial idea about the topic my suggestion would be read the topic from that app at least 2 3 times to understand the key factors in the topic you can easily find your topic in the search tab or accessing the browse by region option step 2 by now you know what the topic demands from you to know opening your college anatomy textbook won't scare you any more as you already know the topic read the topic from your college anatomy textbook which you will get from the college library it is the best book for anatomy according to me the language used in the book is simple and easy to understand read the topic at least twice or thrice from that textbook if you have some problems with the labeling you can anytime use netters atlas Step 3 40 to 50% of the topic is already in your head by now it's the time to make things crystal clear remember i asked you to take notes this is the time to do that make handwritten notes which will reinforce the information into your brain and make things crystal clear for you don't just keep writing make sure you know what you are writing and what it means these notes will be the time saver during the final exams Step 4 By this time you have already mastered 80 to 85% of the topic but when it comes to anatomy you cannot master it without drawing the anatomical structures it's a must no matter how bad you are at drawing you have to make an attempt i am not asking you to draw for hours i think you can easily spend 5 to 10 minutes on one diagram and you will be good to go Step 5 It's the time to visualize the information and watching short videos of 4 to 5 minutes is the best way to do that. It's fun and easy. You can find videos on YouTube. Just type the name of your topic for illustration of this video. Let's say you will type anatomy of the humerus bone. Never ever watch the video in the first step. It seems easy and simple, but if you will do this You will miss a ton of important information. Remember, you have to make use of all the study techniques to retain the information for the longer time. Step 6. Try to solve the MCQ for your class topic. You will be given a MCQ file. You have to go through the MCQ test daily. As you know the topic, give it a shot. You may not get all the answers correct, but you will know where you stand and accordingly you can work on your weak points. Step 7 Revise before you head for your class don't be too overconfident or underconfident stay normal try to improve yourself each day I want to take you through some key points while reading the topic you may find some medical terms which will bounce off your head completely 
Don't panic. Whenever you find yourself in such a situation, search the term in the medical dictionary offline and you are good to go. Link for the app is in the description below. Sometimes some topics are really confusing and you have to memorize a lot. In such situations, mnemonics can save you a lot of time and unnecessary stress. You can make your own mnemonics or use an app from Play Store named Medical Mnemonics. Actually, these are the two apps with the same name but they both are very useful. Link for both the apps is in the description below. Never try to find a shortcut method for studying. I assure you, if you follow the exact study pattern discussed in the video, your future self will thank you for that. And there is no shortcut to success and you have to remember this. And don't study for marks, study for knowledge. Don't let your morale go down if you scored less in one class. You can always bounce back. Sometimes it's important to step back for a very long jump. So don't be afraid afraid of failures. Revise, revise and keep revising. Never skip this please. Else it will let your hard work go in vain. Revision is the key to retain the information. Keep revising the information on a weekly basis. Make sure to touch the topic at least once after every 7 to 8 days. This will keep you intact with the topic. Last but not the least, be happy and take care of your health. You are very far away from your family and that's the biggest reason for them to worry. So please don't give them any other reason to worry about. So that was all for this video guys. I hope you like this video. If you love our content then do share it with your friends and classmates. If you want us to continue making such informative videos for you then do hit that red subscribe button below the video and don't forget to press the bell icon. We will meet very soon in the next video. Till then hustle hard, aim high. This is Atharva and you just watched Inspiring Minds.